What do you think that has an effect on everywhere else in your body? <sighs> okay. Calm down, Brennan. Calm down, Brennan. No! I will not calm down! <laughs> Fuck that! No, I'm kidding. Alright. Anyways. Morning. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to another B Meyer special. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't even know what that means. Um, I am starting off my day at 6 40 a.m. We have a podcast here in a few minutes, but uh, I have this little bison dog right here. So, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of sodium in just one of these links. So, I'm just gonna have one link and then I'm gonna have a meal after my training. So, this is like my intro training. So if you look right here, I got my black rice, I got one little bison dog, blah, 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 and then that's pretty much it. I'm also going to be drinking, again, my greens, my probiotics, my vitamin C, I got some iodine right here, sorry, zinc right here, I have um, my vitamin B12, all these different things. It's so important to stay on top of it. Stop in making excuses and just Okay, so for the first meal, my black rice, I have about six and one thirds of ounces. Um, so that means my 40 carbs, 2.1 fat, and 5.3 grams of protein. And then I have this little wiener. Wiener dog. Uh, this is gonna be 270 calories for just one link. 18 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein. Pretty, pretty intense with the fat, um, but I'm not too worried about that because I'll get some fat in now, and then I'll add some arugula right in here to, to kind of like leafy the bottom of it. And then right after my workout, I'm going to get some more creatine HCL, make sure I have my drink, and I will for sure, for sure be having a lot more protein and a lot less fat, especially because, and, and carbs, obviously, uh, especially because I'm going to have an intense upper session. So I'm hitting uh, chest, tries, and shoulders. I'm not gonna be showing the entire workout today, but I'm gonna show you part of it so you can see, and then we'll uh, continue on with the full day of eating. Let's roll. So um, I'm going to start off by just saying right now, when you are training or prepping for something, um, you really, really want to drink at least a gallon of water and really a gallon and a half or even more. You've got to think about the hydration of your body. It's, your, your body's made up of water. And it's like if you're, not, if you're not fueling it, like when you talk about fuel, this is the real fuel right here. The food as well, of course, but this is the secret. It's the secret that everyone is like wondering about. And so make sure you're getting your water in and don't just get like regular shitty water. Uh, I say shitty, disclaimer, that's an opinion. I always love to drink alkaline water or reverse osmosis. And yeah, sometimes you don't have access to it. It's fine. I'd rather you get water in than not get any at all so if you can get reverse osmosis or get alkaline water um, and then yeah get to it These waist trainers, like what the f they, they straight up, like people put on these waist trainers, right? And it freaking squeezes, like, how does this make any sense? So yeah, your, mu your muscles work and contract towards like a, like a certain uh, structure that you're, you're in day to day, right? So that's why they say your posture is so important because if you're sitting down and you're like squeezing in your legs all the time, then guess what's gonna happen? Your glutes are gonna be fucking tight as hell and also your adducts are gonna be tight as hell, right? And so there's this, there's this I, I don't know like what it is, but they put these waist trainers on and they freaking tighten up their waist I mean, I mean, like, 
I respect, I respect bodybuilding. I do, I truly do. And I respect a lot of the concepts that people preach about and they teach and, and all that shit. But that's gotta go. Like, waist trainers have got to go. It's squeezing your stomach. How does this make any sense? It's like taking something, you know what? I'm gonna do a neck trainer and I'm literally gonna choke myself all day. And let's see how I come out on the other side. How about that? It just doesn't make sense. Like, imagine if you're constricting even your digest digestive little digestive track. You know, imagine that. Think about that. Boom, so fucking tight, and you're consuming food, and you're like, what do you think that has an effect on everywhere else in your body? <sighs> okay. Calm down, Brennan. Calm down, Brennan. No, I will not calm down. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful day in Denver. Look, look, look outside. Like, look how beautiful that is. Like, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go get my post-workout meal. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. We're good. No, we're good. Uh, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, come on. In about, uh, what time is it? 9.30, in about 20 minutes, I have a podcast, but first, here we got Key West Pink Shrimp. I'm most likely going to have, so there's four ounces of this, about 15 shrimp. That's gonna be 18 protein, zero carbs, and one gram of fat. So what I think I'm gonna do, mother, is, is I'm going to have 36, yeah, so I'll probably have eight, uh, 10 ounces of shrimp, boom shakalaka. Then over here we have the cassava flour tortillas. These are really, really good. Definitely check these out. Um, right here, as you can see, three grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, one grams of protein per two tortillas. So I'll most likely have four tortillas, which is gonna come out to 48 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, and two grams of protein. So in total, right there, if we're right here, we have 36, so about some like 40, what is that, 44 grams, something like that. 44 grams of, of protein here, and then um, just two and a half grams of fat plus this. And then we're gonna have a zucchini, uh, a yellow and a green zucchini. So this is like, this makes a lot of, of uh, it's called, oh my gosh, get attacked. This, this calls for just a lot of uh, nutrients, micronutrients, and it fills up my stomach big time. So, um, yeah, oh, right here. And then I have my kombucha. My jun kombucha. Jun kombucha. You like that? Thanks, brother. Um, so with this, by the way, I'm not acting. This is literally how I am all day. This is 40 calories. This is gonna be zero grams of fat, uh, nine grams of carbs, only five grams of sugar. So it's not too bad. And then the protein zero gram. So yeah, this is like kind of probiotics and stuff like that. And it's real good. And plus it, it, it's made with honey. So uh, brother's gonna be really tasty. So uh, yeah, let's eat brother. Three seasonings I like to put on my shrimp. Good old paprika, mmm. Black pepper, mmm. And you know, I'm not even gonna count salt, but yeah, you definitely should put some salt on there. And then finally, basil. All four of those into it just like, oh, there we go. Look at that. Delicious, and I'm actually just gonna have 8.1 ounces of this. It's so it's so hard to gauge shrimp because they literally, when you put it on the uh, on the stove, like, that, that, like that's all that was in here. There's a little bit more, just about eight ounces of shrimp. So these are the standing totals right here: 260 calories with the flour tortillas, which is about 48 carbs, six grams of fat, two of protein. The shrimp. 2.1 grams of protein, or fat 38 grams of protein. And then the zucchini and squash, these are pretty simple, just 10 grams of carbs, and then four grams of carbs. And so left today, I have 1,863 calories, 195 carbs, 57 fat, 
and 150 protein, and boom, boom, and boom. Combine it, and it's a masterpiece. I have a question. Have you ever, in your life, strained the muscles in your jaw from eating so much? For me, I've done it so many times, because I chew so hard and I chew so quickly. And like right now, I feel like I just strained the muscle. <laughs> I swear, life is so funny. Look at this. Look at this. That's a masterpiece. Oh, Lord. Mm. Come here. Come into my stomach. Mm. Gluten free. Oh, gluten free, baby. We got Tony Tone in here from Ship Offers. What's up? What's up? We're about to get into the podcast. This is like legit. Oh yeah, we're not playing. Wait until you put the headphones on, your life starts transforming before your eyes. <laughs> I like it, I spent a long time in radio. This is nice. Hell yeah, let's get it. Okay, so I just finished a couple calls. Um, just a couple issues going on with support, but we're, we're solid. These are my current macros that I have left. I have 195 grams of carbs, 57 grams of fat, 150 grams of protein, total of 1,863 calories. So I'm gonna go down to Whole Foods and I'm gonna go look for a couple more pieces of food that will fit into that. I, I want it pretty even, um, a little bit more protein on this and uh, not too much fat, probably like 10 grams of fat, maybe 15 grams of fat. But the way I do this stuff is, you know, I'm busy all day. I'm walking here, I'm walking there. But at the same time, I'm staying active and I'm staying on top of everything that I'm doing. I do not miss meals. I don't allow myself to miss meals. I'm always eating throughout the day. I'm trying to keep my metabolism the same. Like I'm practicing, I'm doing everything I need to do and more. And so what it takes is just being on top of your shit, not fucking making excuses, not being that guy that's like, oh, I have too much in a day. Look, I own eight businesses and I'm, I'm running around here, running around there. I had a podcast today. I was on a phone call, multiple phone calls. I was recording my videos. So if I can do it, you can do it. And if I can do it, other people are doing it that are so much less better off than me. Yeah, I have the luxury of having a Whole Foods down below me and these all these opportunities and having money course it's a lot easier for me it's more efficient as well but it wasn't always like this for me when I was living on my own in college and I had barely any money and I was playing football and I needed to eat and I needed to do all these different things and I had no money coming in I just fucking made it happen simple as that I sold books on the side and I made money I hustled so that I could pay for all the things that I wanted so remind yourself of that and get your meals in 1800 calories Let's go. All right, so this is what we got. We have strawberries here, about 0.57 of a pound, which equi equivalents to 9.1 ounces. That's gonna be right here, 19.6 grams of carbs, 0.8 grams of fat, and 1.7 grams of protein. And then we also have this drink right here by Evolve. It's a plant-based protein shake. I don't really eat any dairy, if at all. Like, I really don't but it's 160 calories, one gram of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. This is just a snack. I'll be eating a little bit later here soon. All right, so just finished getting some work done at the coffee shop. And now, what time is it, man? Oh my gosh, what freaking time is it? Oh, it's 16.53. You know what's funny? I never know what time it is because I do not know what 1653 means. I'm kidding. Go ahead, you're good. So many sweet people here in Denver, Colorado. It's like, people are way too nice. Okay, we got good news. So, I bought something before I make my next meal. I bought something from a store. I, all right, let me just put, this, put it this way. I usually never, ever, ever, ever buy anything from any online brands that are like social media based. But I couldn't help but see this stuff from Young LA. I don't have a discount code, I don't have anything. I bought this stuff and I was like, yo, I need it. I need it 100%. So let's check this stuff out. This is the pants. Look at these things. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's some high quality shit. Damn. Look at these right here. This is the cutoff right here. Damn, bro. They, I'm not gonna lie, they knocked it out of the park. I'm, I, I will not lie. Yeah. Let's see the red ones. I 100% want to be sponsored by them. Like, actually, let's try, let's try them on first. All right. So I love, like, I'm not gonna lie, the way this even sits on me. Oh my gosh. And it'll probably shrink a little bit, so it'll look even better. But I like how like it kind of folds in right here. And then it makes everything else look really good. And then even the legs, man, like, this is a dope outfit. Let me, let me try on the, the blue now. Okay, and these are the, the blue shorts. Like, th these are a little bit longer. Not gonna lie, again, dope. Super freaking dope. I would rock these all the time. Like, honestly, yo, Young LA, bring me in. Bring me in, boy. Bring me in, boy. Okay, let's dance with, her, with the Ryan Hustlers. Let's go. Bring me into your business. I'll make you a lot of fucking money. Or, or I'll just make my own stuff. Cause that's like what, that's generally what I do. If I think something is really, really, yeah, ignore this. If I, if I really enjoy a product, I just go out there and uh, make my own. <laughs> Meal number one, let's go. All right, so just as a little treat, I'm gonna have my Icon meals. Okay, what is this? Triple chocolate, no egg, gluten free. It's not the best for you, I'm not gonna lie. But I do have them sometimes. Uh, and because it's only 260 calories, it's actually a little bit more caloric than I would like, but it's not bad. I have 32 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, and eight grams of fat. So on the macro side, it's actually pretty good. It's like, I don't know, 55% uh, carbs, and then, or, or even 50% carbs, 60% carbs, 30% protein, and like, what's the rest? Whatever the rest is, <laughs> fucking fat. But yeah, definitely, like if you want something just for a snack or some Icon meals, go in into Whole Foods or just your local grocery store. But also look at what's in the ingredients because you don't want to be eating so much shit throughout the day. Now, if it's like 200 calories worth and you're eating 2,800 calories, it's not that much. Like if you actually take the percentage of it, it's, it's really not bad at all. So definitely look into that. But uh, yeah, now let's have a freaking first meal out of the last two. Let's go. So to my food. This is Icon Meals, I freaking love them. So we have white potatoes right here. Then we have the good old arugula. We have eight ounces of bison, and then about four ounces of broccoli. So. Steroids? Sarms? <laughs> yeah. Sarms. All right, so the, uh, the total, so we got ground bison, 384 calories, 7.2 grams of fat, 72 grams of protein. Then we have the white potato steak fries, 48 grams of carbs, 5.3 grams of fat, 5.3 grams of protein, that's 264 calories, and the broccoli is like 40. 40 calories coming from mostly carbs, eight grams of carbs, and 2.8 grams of protein. So if we add all that mother up, three, that's five, 500, 604, that is 688 calories in this meal. It's time to eat, baby! Cheers. Cheers, brother. Sam, Sam, where are we going? We're going to GNC to pick up myself some creatine HCL because your boy forgot he was out. So we need to get it in. We're gonna ride over to GNC. Now here's the cool thing. The creatine HCL that I'm about to get, I'm coming out with an even better one. Something that's like prime, top of the line. Like when I, when I really love something, I build it myself. Like a product, whatever, whatever it is, and then I decrease the price so that it's less expensive for everyone to buy. Because I feel like product development, people are scamming each other too much, there's so much bullshit in the industry, there's so much crappy ingredients, and I just really wanna show up for people and be next level for them. 
and that includes you. So Creatine HCL is coming soon. That's a sneak peek. Denver's actually a pretty, pretty cool city, especially when it's warm out. I gotta say, not my favorite city, but definitely up there in top five. So I'm currently on this street called 16th Street. It's like where everybody walks. GNC is pretty close, as you can see. Right here. I don't generally come over here, but the damn GNC, I gotta get there. There it is. Oh, feels good to be a bodybuilder today. Ooh. See, this is the problem. This is why I don't go outdoors. I start seeing like clothes and all of a sudden I'm pulled in one way. Damn it. Creatine, creatine, creatine. Just want to grab some creatine HCL. Hey, smart man, there you go. I am a smart man. I'm also going to be releasing my own here soon. Hey, right on. She's got this small one right here. Is she? up there? I don't think so. If not, I got you covered over here. Cool. Mm. Creatine HCL, baby. So this is what I do every single time I get these labels. I mean, much respect to what they're doing and stuff, but I do my own thing. I'm building my own. Like respect, it's raw chemistry labs, but I want to make a better one. Damn it. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. So basically I, I usually I usually cut this part off. Just, <laughs> just the name of the brand. So whenever I take it in YouTube videos, I'm releasing my own. What do you want me, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Competitor. Competitor better watch out. I'm coming for you. I'm actually gonna have it in the same bottle. Like I really love this bottle, so I wanna have it in the same bottle. It's really, really expensive to get them in these small bottles, but dude, this stuff works. This stuff works, and I want it to be even less expensive for you. Let's go. All right, let's finish it off. It's 10.39, usually I'm in bed and sleeping by now, but I was posing for like the last hour and a half. So uh, let's run through my final macros. I am squeezing everything in, and it's all working out perfectly. So the salmon, eight ounces in, is in here generally, I'm bringing it down to five and a half ounces so that my protein is, let's see what my protein is. Come on, Brendan, you got this, dude. Got it. So the, so the protein is 33 grams, right? And I wanted to make sure I got it from a meat source, so we're good there. And then we had about eight ounces of broccoli. And if we go into the broccoli, Eight ounces of broccoli has 5.6 grams of protein and 16 grams of carbs. So that's really what has been pushing my proteins up. So my protein is like 11 over, which is okay. I'm fine with that. Um, my calories are right where I need them to be. It's like perfect. That's exactly where I want them. Uh, and then my fats, eight grams, that's totally okay. And then my carbs is negative one. So what else I'm having is one tablespoon of this stuff right here. This is nutso. It's so freaking good. One tablespoon. And so one tablespoon right here is 7.5 grams of fat, three grams of protein, and four grams of carbs. And then I'm also having one rice cake, which is about 60 calories. And then it's going to be 14 grams of carbs and one gram of protein. And then finally, I'm gonna have three tortillas. And if I go to the three tortillas right here, three tortillas is gonna be 195 calories. And then I'm gonna have 36 grams of carbs, four and a half grams of fat, and 1.5 grams of protein. So I'm literally taking, and, and kind of, this is what I like about counting my calories is, I'm taking all these different items of foods and different sources, and, and having my micros, having everything I need, some nuts and uh, seeds, I'm taking some like really nice cassava flour, and, and all of these different food items, and I'm consuming them, and I'm gonna feel great. I know I'm gonna feel great because it's coming from pulling from so many different areas. So that's it right there, guys. I, that's, that's uh, fuck, how many calories is that? And I did like a, I rode my bike today and stuff, so that's totally fine. Um, let's see, so that's 2,000, so that's 301 carbohydrates, that's 211 
222 grams of protein. So I generally wanted around 210, 200 to 210, which is fine. I had a little bit more. And then my fats, which are really solid, 77 out of the 85 grams that I wanted today. Uh, and, and that's okay. That's totally okay. And that's total. Boom. And that right there, baby, is how you mother and eat. Dude. <laughs> Great motivation. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this full day of eating. I. I really enjoy doing this. Maybe I'll do it once a week, maybe two, uh, once every two weeks, whatever. Let me know what you thought um, and any suggestions you have, any ideas that you have. Maybe you're struggling with your foods or you're really good at, at counting your calories and you'd love to throw in some options at the bottom. I'm gluten free, so I don't eat any gluten and I don't eat any dairy, generally. Both of those I generally don't, um, except for the Icon Meals bar, for instance. I had some gluten in that. It didn't mess up my stomach. I feel great, and that's that. So remember, podcast every Tuesday and Friday, link in the description. Check that out. It's on iTunes, Spotify, even here on YouTube every Tuesday, or I try and do it every single week here on, on YouTube. And then, yeah, body weight to bodybuilding. We are almost like 17 weeks out, so it, it's coming. It's definitely coming. October 3rd is the date. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace!